everybody! Today's video is going to be a haul video and I only went to two places. I went to Rue 21 and I also went to Cosmoprof. And if you don't know what Cosmoprof is, it is just a salon warehouse that only licensed cosmetologists can go to. But I figured I would still include it in this haul just because you can either get these things at Ulta or a local salon, I am sure. So I figured I would just include it because I did get a few things. So I'm going to jump right in and start with Rue 21. So everything I got at Rue 21 came up to $47.12 and I only got a few deals so I will talk about those things first. I got this basic shirt, literally it's just a long sleeved t-shirt, sort of hard to see but it's a little heathered and it's a dark gray color and it has that, let me see, has that V detailing by the neck, I think you can see it. And I got it in an extra large because I wanted to wear it nice and baggy and I wanted it to be long enough to where I can wear it with leggings if I want to. And it was $12.99 and then I decided to get one more because it was buy one get one 50% off. So I got this really pretty purple color and it's the exact same style, just a long sleeve and I got it in the same size but it's just this really pretty purple almost... Not quite fuchsia, but it almost has like a fuchsia tint to it. And it's coming across really dark on camera and it is a little bit lighter in person. And the main reason I even wanted to go in was for scarves because they have pretty nice scarves for a decent price. So I really wanted to get a flannel shirt, but I could not find any that I really liked. So I went for a flannel infinity scarf and this was $9.99 and like I said, it's just an infinity scarf. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a circle scarf. And it does have some, I, don't, I guess you would call them large studs, and they are gold. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of gold studs. It's just really not my thing. So when I wear it, what I'm going to do is make sure that I have it on the side that doesn't have studs on it. But if they do show, it's really not that big of a deal. But I thought this was really cute. They also had this in gray, but I don't have anything red that I really can think of and I thought red would be really pretty during the fall and the next scarf I got was $7.99 and it is just this really pretty checkered scarf and it is also just an infinity scarf so this is what the pattern looks like and I think it this kind of material, I'm not sure what it is, but it's not a super thin material and it's not super thick. I don't know if it's some sort of cotton or 100% viscose. I'm not quite sure what that even is. But they are super soft and let me just try this one on. Obviously, it's not going to match my outfit, but just so you can get an idea. And that is the scarf. So just nice and simple and basic. I ha do have other scarves. I have an aqua one with white skulls on it. And then I have a coral and gray striped one. But I did want more of a black and white type scarf so I can wear with more outfits. And then the red I just thought was so pretty so I had to get that. And then the last thing I got from Rue 21 is this really cute head scarf or headband ear band. I'm really not sure what this is called, but it was $6.99. And on the back, they have just this little button here and it just comes undone, which I don't think I'll have to because it just slips right over my head. And it has this really pretty flower and it is just a knitted headband. And I will try it on so you can kind of get a better idea. And this is what it looks like. And you can either have the flower more to the side or in the front, wherever you want it. And then you just wear it lower down to your neck. I think this, for me, with my shorter hair, would look really cute if I sort of curled it out. So then it looked a little bit more voluminous because it's looking super flat right now. But that's how I would probably wear my hair when I wear something like this. But it's going to keep my head super warm and I think it's really cute. And while I'm talking about these kinds of head scarves, I did get one at Walmart for $2. And this color just reminds me of autumn with the brown and the orange and it has a cute little bow here And I want to say you probably wear it like orange side down with the bow at the bottom I'm not quite sure but like I said this was only two dollars at Walmart and I think that is super cute too So that is everything I got from Rue 21 So let's just jump right into what I got from Cosmoprof and they are all hair products So at Cosmoprof I spent exactly $88. There was no change. It was literally just $88 after tax and everything. Like I said, it's all hair products. So I'm just going to quickly go over what I got for the salon and then I will go over what I got for myself. 
So the only thing I got for the salon, is, I'm just going to quickly go over it, it's just perms. And I figured I'd still include it because it was included in the price and I just picked up three. These are just Joyco ones, really simple and basic. And the next thing I got was for my boyfriend and it is the Woody's Quality Grooming for Men. And it is just foreplay hair and body wash. And it is a sulfate free body wash for hair and skin. And that is my dog getting in the bags. I'm sorry if that annoys you, Bailey. And it smells really good. It sounds really weird, but it smells like the deodorant he normally uses. But like I was saying, I just got this for my boyfriend and it does smell really good. And it was on sale for $5. So I figured why not give that a try because I normally get him the J. Crew the three in one for guys. So I figured I'd give that a try. Okay, so for what I got for myself, I did pick up more hair color because I'm eventually going to go a little darker and a little more on the violet side. And I just got the Joyco color and this is in the color 4VR, which is a violet red. So I picked up two just so I had a spare one at home because I do have to travel about 45 minutes to an hour to go to Cosmoprof. Um, the closest mall is literally I'm not going to say the town because I do live in a smaller area, but it is about 45 minutes to an hour away just depending on where you're going in that town. So I, I always like to overstock when I go shopping. So I got two of those. Next I got these rubber bands. They're just really stretchy and they are black since I went darker. Clear elastics just don't look very good in my hair so I figured I'd just get the black ones. They actually don't have brown which I thought was really weird. And then I got these crock clips and they are just a pack of four and since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month they came in the pink color and it is the Susan G. Komen. So these are just, ooh, let me get it open. These are just sort of rubberized clips and if you can see they have like little teeth here that really clasp onto the hair and they also have smaller teeth in here so your hair does not slip. And I have some for the salon but I didn't have any for home so I figured I would pick those up. And the next thing I always use, and I have been getting now for about a year, is the Kenra Shine Spray. I'm almost out of mine, and I think I only have like probably two or three more uses. So I needed to get another one because the one I did have for here, I took to the salon because I ran out there too. And I know I said in my hair care routine that I wash my hair every day, but for the past few weeks I've been skipping washes. I'm not really going to say I do an every other day thing because some days I wake up and I need to wash my hair even if I washed it the day before. Since I do have like really short layers and I have shorter hair and sometimes when I wake up literally I have pieces in the back that stick up like straight up and no matter how much I brush them they will not go down and sometimes like I said it just doesn't work but I did want to pick up a dry shampoo right now I am using the KMS California hair play makeover spray and it just looks like this and I do really like this stuff but I wanted to try the it's a 10 miracle dry shampoo and conditioner in one I really do like the stuff like I said and they cost about the same but this is not very conditioning it makes my hair feel or doesn't really make my hair feel conditioned at all. It just leaves it feeling sort of dry. So I did want to try this. And this smells okay, but I did spray this in the car. And it smells so good. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm really bad at describing scents. But it smells really fresh and... Just like the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner, this does the 10 things as well. I'm not going to really go over them because I don't have my glasses on and I honestly cannot see what they do. But I'm sure everybody has heard the spiel about the 10 things that it does. So I got this to try and I will be giving this a, a try next time I do need a dry shampoo. I did put a little bit around my ear area because I didn't wash my hair this morning when I got in the car since I didn't want to mess up my clips. And it seemed to work pretty good. So I'm really excited to be giving this a try. And speaking of it's a 10, they did give me the leave-in conditioner and it was free. Um, normally when I go, I do get a free sample, and this is just the leave-in product that everybody raves about. So I did get this as well, and I will be giving this a go also. And I want to say that you put this in when your hair is damp, so I haven't tried this yet. It is just the spray kind, so... That smells really good too, so I'm excited to try that. I have no idea why I've never tried it before, but I think the main reason I haven't is because I already used my Moroccan oil and also my Palmish Sumer 
super skinny serum when I get out of the shower, but I will be giving that a go. The next thing I got is this Healthy Sexy Hair Soya Want Full Hair. And just looks like this. And this is a firm hold hairspray. And the reason I got that one was because I've been using the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. And this is the Argan Oil one. And this is a weightless hairspray. And I did really want to get this one, but they didn't have it. And I never ask if they have something in stock because whenever I do ask, they always say that whatever is out is all they have. So I decided just to give this one a go. And I did spray it on the top part of my hair when I got in the car and it didn't seem too crunchy or crispy or anything so I think it's going to work pretty good so I figured I'd just give that a go because I don't really like crunchy hairsprays because I'm not a huge hairspray person to begin with so I think that'll work out okay and honestly the only hairspray I really use is the sexy hair brands and I do have a bedhead one but that is more of a heavy hold when I do updos and stuff and the last thing I got is by Joyco it's the K-Pack Revitalux bio advanced restorative treatment to revitalize nourish and repair and I read it when I had my glasses on in the store and you leave it on for three to five minutes after you shampoo your hair and it's just supposed to deep repair your hair now all of the Joyco K-Pack have keratin in them. That is what the K-Pack stands for. So you do have to be very careful when using something with keratin in it because it can actually reverse what it's supposed to do and make your hair very dry and brittle. And keratin is the protein that your hair is made of. So since my hair is damaged because all of this was bleached at one point, all of this had was literally bleach blonde so it's quite dry even though I have had a few haircuts since going dark. I'm going to be putting this in the shower and ooh, using it in there after I just shampoo and the bottle just is a squeeze bottle like this. I have been using the other Joyco K-Pack. Um, they're like the deep repair or deep hydrator and it will be in my empties video coming out in about a week or two and I did really like those, but last time I bought them, they came in a duo pack, and they didn't come in a pack this time, so I figured I would just give this a try since it was about the same cost as the other ones sold separately. So I figured I would pick that up because I did need some sort of keratin repair mask. And that is all I got. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And like I said, I have an empties video coming up, and that has a lot of skincare, hair care, uh, I think that's pretty much it, is skincare and hair care, and a few makeup products. So look out for that. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bailey, no, hey, no, sit, so I got this really purple, it says 100%, what is that word, I wanted more of a black or, And it is just an autumn type one, I think. And so, and then <laughs> Bailey. No! Bailey! So I just put my dog outside and seriously, I think it's snowing. It's... It didn't look like rain. I seriously think it's snowing outside right now. If I can. Whoops. Ooh, I'm bad at opening things. Obviously. Who? Definitely smells like rubber. But... It is the, if it will go, hmm. there it goes. Soya Wantful, Soya Wantful Hair. I have no idea, it's soy and coconut.